Welcome back to the Tattooed Spirit. I'm Jeff Burr. We're on to talking about the Eight of Wands. If Wands, as you know, because I keep repeating these things on purpose, if Wands are your activities and your doings, and you see these Wands, this position right side up coming to an end, it is safe to infer, it is safe to deduct that your activities, your projects, those things that you've been working on, things that you're hoping to accomplish are coming to an end. If you find it reversed, if it presents to you like this, that means there's a continuance of these activities that you happen to be inquiring about depending on your reading, depending on what you're hoping to find some inspiration of. Other cards will be able to show you if you're thinking something that can keep on this process going. If you're feeling a certain way about it that keeps this process going, you're going to be able to find some clarity based on the other cards. Later, after we finish with these cards, talking about the interpretations of each cards, I'm going to give you a new sort of a way that I like to work with my, uh, with my clients, uh, especially in office, about using two tarot decks. Using one tarot deck to uh, you know work on whatever you happen to be questioning and then having the other deck separate into the five sections that we had talked about, the major influences and the four different suits. So whenever you had a question, you could ask for clarity depending on what you're hoping to gain clarity about your thoughts or your actions or your feelings or wherever you happen to find yourself in the situation, you pull up the coin suit. So this is going to be a very short talk because this is such a straightforward card. I almost find myself just babbling for no reason. Um, this is for a good reason. When I do a lot of tarot, straight up tarot readings, uh, oftentimes questions about romance uh, and relationships come up. Uh, this card has a strong relationship influence. Uh, it's about uh, when you see it right side up, that just means relationships. This is like the, it's like Cupid's arrows. You can think about this card like the, the arrows of Cupid. If it sees like this, you can kind of see the tip of the arrow. That means that it's, it's just uh, the relationships are taking next steps, that it's progressing nicely, that uh, there's a new upping of the game. The next stages of the relationships are coming and coming at a healthy pace for you. If it's like this, it's just continuing to be the same. Maybe it's too blah, maybe it's too nothing, maybe it's time for it to move on from this relationship, but if you're asking a specific question about a relationship and the Eight of Wands comes up reversed, it's time to begin looking at you know, your deeper self about do you want this to continue because it's going to continue without really going anywhere and it's going to have you answer questions about your own intentions in this particular relationship. So. It's an easy card, and it speaks to you. It'll speak to you now a lot more than ever. It's wands. It's active. It's coming to an end. It's completion, projects, stopping. And then you can literally see they just keep on going. All right? So, <laughs> easy enough. Nine. Wonderful topic to talk about is our nines. Next, we'll see you in just a second to talk about how whenever you deal with the wands so much, there's always a uh, there's an aspect of that quality of the suit that can set you back. We're going to talk about those setbacks next with the Nine of Wands. I'll see you in a second.